I'm all about, you know what I mean? Setting the mood for when I'm gonna talk about and taste it. <sighs> I love the smell of this. You gotta set the mood, Nick, for when you are gonna talk about watches. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a really emotional, passionate <laughs> thing. Hey guys, it's Cam from Craft and Tailored, and in this episode of What Is On My Wrist, we are talking about watches, th things. I haven't had an, I have not had enough coffee at all. I need more. I need caffeine. Hey guys, it's Cam, Craft and Tailored. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Cam from Craft and Tailored. In this episode of What Is On My Wrist, we are gonna be talking about a 1960s Elgin chronograph. Uh, the reference is 7452. And what's interesting about this watch is uh, Elgin is uh, an, an American brand, an American company. Uh, but this watch um, is very much not in the line of what we would see from American companies. Uh, it's very much Swiss based. It's a Panda chronograph. Uh, and the other thing too is it was actually made in Switzerland. So there's some interesting Elgin kind of horological history here. I love it when I use that word, horological history. Let's hashtag that, David. Horological history. Really interesting watch, d worthy of some wrist time. And this one has an interesting story and all kinds of stuff that we're gonna talk about. The Elgin company was, uh, it actually originated from uh, Elgin, Illinois, and was founded in 1864 under the name National Watch Company. Uh, it actually officially became Elgin National Watch Company in 1874, and the first wristwatch for Elgin came into production in 1910. Uh, in the Second World War, Elgin produced both watches uh, and military instruments for the United States military. So interestingly enough, uh, you can find like a cockpit clocks that were used in all kinds of aircraft and uh, Elgin definitely provided a lot of uh, timing instruments for uh, the military uh, during, during the war. Elgin disbanded in 1968. So basically in 1968, a lot of the American based watch companies uh, were, they kind of ceased to exist. The, the Swiss really were kind of the prime players in the wristwatch market in that era and time. So in 68, uh, all US manufacturing discontinued and the Elgin name was actually sold. After the Elgin name uh, was sold, the name passed through several hands, which resulted in some interesting pieces that were manufactured under the Elgin name all over the world. And this is definitely one of those, one of those watches. Um, so really, really interesting. Uh, I think actually this watch um, was potentially still produced by Elgin, maybe under license or, or branding. The case is very, very unique. Uh, let's dive into the details about the watch specifically, but it's a very interesting watch. Um, it you know has a has a panda-like configuration, meaning that the base portion of the dial is white. It is a matte white you know dial, uh, and the subdials are are black, giving it that panda look. Um, the other interesting thing is that uh, the watch itself kind of is reminiscent of like a, like a like a Hoyer like Camaro or uh, you know one of the one of the Hoyer chronographs the three three register chronographs out of the same era. But what's interesting is the case size, although similar, it's kind of its own thing. I don't know of another watch that leverages this case, so it's kind of unique to just this watch. Um, the 7452 it actually leverages a Valju 7736 chronograph movement. So it's also kind of interesting too. It's not an American, you know, based chronograph movement or anything like that, even though I think that this watch, um, and we'll get into some of like the other little elements of accoutrement, but um, the other, the, even though it's, I think still licensed and was potentially put together, in uh, Illinois, in the United States. Um, this to me feels, it actually smells like a Swiss watch. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this doesn't really remind me of an American type of watch. It's very much Swiss in terms of its design, the hands, the, the format, everything else. There is tritium loom on the dial. There's this kind of, I guess, like Speedmaster-esque, uh, you know, chronograph sweep seconds hand. And then there's interesting hands in the sub registers. There's kind of like these like broad arrow hands in the uh, minute and the hour uh, totalizers. And then there's that like, 
kind of definitive skinny sweep seconds hand for the for the running seconds which is again very you know swiss it's very european like um this specific example is really interesting too because uh we've only had 17736 there's not a lot of them out there um but this one is a complete time capsule uh even from the perspective of it it kind of still has this protective case back sticker on there the engravings uh, or case back strikes are, are very, very strong and, and untouched. When we inspected the watch after we got it, when we opened the case back to look at the movement, the movement hadn't even been serviced, it didn't seem like, and or if it had been um, very meticulously done because there wasn't any kind of over tightening of the screws or anything like that. The watch retains its original Elgin strap, which is also kind of just funky. Uh, I actually like the strap. It's interesting too, because at the end of the strap, it's kind of this like just asymmetrical slant cut but the strap is signed elgin uh, genuine calf skin and the strap was actually made in france which is also something that's kind of interesting and a departure away from you know u.s manufacturing the watch itself is really cool i've enjoyed wearing this watch the lugs are interesting the case is interesting um and it just kind of speaks to me the hands are cigarette style so very kind of broad and blunt um, and the panda style chronograph with that orange sweep seconds hand with the orange accents on the dial is just really interesting and, and eye catching. So in any case, uh, very cool design uh, and just very interesting watch. To kind of expand on this specific example a little bit more, the watch retains its original box. The outer box is in pretty good condition. Um, it actually has the original you know, chronograph sticker and the later Elgin logo on the outside. It actually comes with its original coffin case, which is really, really cool. It says world renowned horologist for over 106 years, which is pretty cool. So very interesting kind of full set. And then the other thing too, that's, that's really interesting is the watch actually retains uh, its original warranty card. Uh, Elgin, a division of Elgin National Industries, Inc., 450 West 33rd Street, New York, New York, which is interesting because I think this watch was actually made in Switzerland, uh, but uh, all of the distribution and the company was still in the United States. And then it's got uh, your guarantee here, which is kind of cool. Again, that same like 60s era Elgin logo. And then I'm a, just a sucker for this stuff, but it has the original booklet, which is also really cool because Again, there's just like this kind of monochromatic pop art feel to everything. I mean, it's just so interesting and cool. So um, in any case, really, really cool. It's, it's, it's very much a complete watch, has all the boxes and the papers, and uh, it's just kind of a unique watch uh, altogether. Uh, so in any case, uh, really, really cool. I thought it was worthy of some wrist time. I, I like watches that are funky and unique and interesting. And the thing that's cool about this is highly doubtful that you're going to see another one. I don't think that there's a lot of these out there. Uh, based on our research, I've only seen a couple. And they also made this watch, I think, in a gold cap version as well with a, with a black dial. But um, this white panda dial is just really, really cool and interesting. So I'll provide a link in the description below so that you can learn about the Elgin Watch Company and the history behind it. And uh, so that you can also check this out, I'll provide a little bubble up here so that you can check out this example and give it a full look, okay? Thanks for tuning in, guys. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, be sure to follow us on Instagram, provide a link in the description below. I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for tuning in.